Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. Um, Hydrogen Man. So guys, let's talk today about clean water. I know a lot of people think that they have really clean water or really good water filters. And I'm gonna go over some of that today. And I'm also gonna talk about how the HydroFix actually exposes the quality of your water, which is really, really interesting and quite fascinating. So let me start with that and then we'll, we'll go into some other stuff here in a second. See, the way it all basically happened was I drank some water one time and it tasted kind of odd. And I thought maybe there was something wrong with my machine. And of course, I contacted the company. They reached out to their engineers, their scientists, their whole team. And what they basically discovered was is that it, it's not the machine. It's actually the quality of water that I was using. And it turned out that the filter that I was using was actually overdue and I just wasn't aware of it. Once I changed the filter, or I went back to using my distilled water because my distiller was out of commission for a little while. That basically was the, the, the way that the machine was exposing the quality of my water was because one, the flavor, and it has to do with, I've never seen any other machine. I've, I've tried a lot of different hydrogen machines. I've never seen one that would expose the quality of the water. And the reason apparently that it does it is because this machine is so good at what it does and which and the precision in which it does it that you literally will taste just all sorts of little things within the water when it produces the hydrogen water. So that's one of the ways that this exposes the quality. The other way that it also exposes the quality of your water is literally through the panel. So I don't have it right now, but in here, the panel that is inside of the pitcher will get all, I have a, other videos where it shows it, but it gets all like crusty and frosted with just an abundance of mineral. And if it's building up that much calcification within a week or less, you probably don't have the highest quality of water either. And it's an interesting thing because I've had people tell me that they're using distilled water and their panel gets all crusted up within a week or two. Whatever water you're using, it's not truly distilled if that's happening. Because when I use my distilled water, the panel stays really clean for months and I run this machine all the time. So that's, you know, those are the ways that the machine exposes the quality of your water. But now let's go over here for a second. I wanna show you this. This is a website and I did a lot of research on water. This website's called myaquanui.com. In fact, right now they got some sales, which is pretty cool. In fact, this is the, the, the device that I like because look at these, these are in the thousands. But you can get a really high quality countertop water distiller, American made. You know, they have a pretty good discount right now at 549. And if you use a discount code that I have, which is Uprising 144K, I believe it'll be under 500 bucks. And that's a really good deal for a really high quality distiller. But the important part is why a water distiller? Well, let me just show you some of the stuff here, guys. I really like this, this is really cool. So let's look at arsenic. Um, does a carbon filter filter out arsenic? It doesn't appear so. Um, reverse osmosis, partially. Water distillation from Aqua Nui, yes. Let's look at bacteria. It doesn't necessarily filter out all bacteria. Radioactive stuff, well, that's a question mark. Um, chlorine, yeah, carbon filters are typically pretty good at chlorine. Fluoride, you know, it kind of depends on the filter also, or it doesn't completely filter all that out. What about lead? What about mercury? What about nitrates? Pesticides, yes, that's been one of the really um, good things lately about these carbon filters. They seem to be doing better with filtering out pesticides. How about salts and viruses? You know, so carbon filters, you know, not, not totally the best. I mean, it's better than nothing. I think it just depends how serious you wanna get with your water and improving your health. And if you wanna do nothing else, at least have clean water, guys. It's huge. You don't wanna use your water to toxify you. You want your water to detoxify you. Let's look at reverse osmosis. So again, arsenic partially filters it out, bacteria partially, radioactive stuff is obviously a question mark. Chlorine, hey, there you go, reverse osmosis is good. Fluoride, for lead, for mercury, partially on nitrates. Uh, yes, for pesticides, which is another good one. Um, partially on salts, and then again, no check mark necessarily for viruses. Then you go look here at again, an Aqua Nui distiller. I mean, distillation guys, cleanest water I've ever had. And then we go back to arsenic, yes. Bacteria, yes. Even radioactive stuff, guys, that's pretty wild. Uh, chlorine, yes. Fluoride, yes. Lead, yes. Mercury, nitrates, pesticides, salts, and viruses. Look at that. So if you really want super clean water, distillation seems to be the way to go, in my opinion. And then when I run the distilled water in my device, that's when I really notice the biggest change in regards to the flavor. 
The flavor of the water is just so clean, even after being run through the device. And then that's what really shocked me. It shocked me so much that, that my HydroFix was exposing the quality of my water based on the flavor of it. It's it just really, really shocking. I could have sworn, I just really thought it was a device. And in the end, it wasn't. Once I changed the water, everything changed. And I just realized, you know, I have to either change my filters or stay on top of that, or just be using my distilled water. And I kind of do a two-part thing. I use distilled water for my drinking water, and I use just my filtered water for mostly like soups and different things of that nature. I can't use distilled water for everything. I mean, I could, but I, but I don't. But if, when it comes to my drinking water, I want top notch. So this is about as clean as it gets as far as the, the quality of my water, and then the cleanest it gets as far as having good quality hydrogen also, because obviously, you know, the cheap machines out there can, you know, be leaching metals or they use chemicals in order to make their hydrogen or a chemical reaction or something of that nature with like the pills and all those different things. And it's not the highest caliber that you can get of the hydrogen water. And so that was it, guys. I hope that answered people's questions because I've talked about making a video about how the HydroFix exposes the quality of your water. And hopefully also, you know, if you guys want to check out myaquanui.com, that's the name of the website that I like and have that discount code. I like them because, again, the quality of their products. And that's it, guys. So don't forget to support the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.